please allow me to be vulnerable. I have really been struggling to find what works for me on YouTube. And I really, I enjoy, I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy filming and documenting parts of my life and sharing it with you guys um the point of me doing that is to somehow inspire even if it's one person however when you don't see the results that you would like to see over time it starts to become a bit discouraging I know that the content that performs really well on my channel is a lot of the travel content as well as um, the Cape Town videos. Um, those do really well. And the problem with these two types of videos is one, I no longer live in Cape Town, so I'm not able to produce that amount of videos or the level of Cape Town videos to the extent that I used to because I don't live there anymore. I currently live in Durban. And with the travel videos, I mean, how often do I travel? I don't travel every month. I don't travel every week. I don't travel enough I don't travel often enough for me to be releasing travel videos every other week, right? So because of that, I started incorporating vlogs in between my content. I started filming vlogs. And this is when I really realized that vlogs don't perform well on my channel. They don't perform well at all. I think the last vlog that I put out, which was the gym vlog, as I s shoot this video right now, it does not have more than 50 views. Something like that is really discouraging. And, you know, before I actually filmed this vlog, I had a conversation with my cousin and she was asking me that, look, what is your niche what are you really focusing on and i was like you know what in all honesty i do not know right now i i, I do not know i can see that vlogs are not doing well on my channel and yet i don't have any travel content planned you know and i am so close to getting monetized i think i'm currently at three thousand watch hours and i need a thousand more watch hours and you know i was telling myself that maybe i should just keep doing more vlogs to get my watch hours in and you know essentially get monetized but it's so discouraging to keep posting and vlogging when they really do not um perform well so i i honestly at this point i don't know what direction to take with this youtube channel i i don't know i genuinely genuinely love content um love travel content so you know because i'm in a new city i do plan on essentially planning some out of town trips that like an hour two hours away but even that you know can't be as often as i need it to be so at this point <clears throat> i'm i'm having i'm having a little bit of a brain fog at this point i don't know what to do <laughs> i i don't you know it really it does help on the vlogs when one or two people comment um you know at least know that someone out there is able to sit through the vlogs and watch them but is it working i don't know i really feel like it's not working for me and i don't know what to do do i take an approach of just 
continuing to vlog as I currently do. Um, do I do more sit down videos? You know, maybe just sharing the different parts of my journey of my life that I'm going through. But even some of those videos, they don't do as well as I would like them to do, you know. And, and I know that I shouldn't be obsessing over the numbers you know but they matter they really matter like when especially on the on youtube i would like to assume if you have a youtube channel the numbers do matter they make a difference you know it's encouraging when you see them do well and it does the opposite <laughs> when they don't do well unfortunately so I know that I shouldn't be be obsessing over them and you know I should just keep what I'm doing I should just keep doing what I'm doing which I will do don't get me wrong um but yeah I just thought I would share with you guys that I'm really finding this challenging and and sometimes you know that's why I sort of go on these long hiatus of not vlogging or not putting anything out because I honestly just don't know what to put out uh, and obviously that's not helping the momentum of the channel and I don't want to keep doing that um you know um so but yeah I'll just keep I'll just keep posting I'll just keep um sharing what I would like to share with you guys and I think one day we will essentially find what works one day as a family we can decide what works for us and keep it going it's a new day a new dawn and i'm feeling good dun 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 Good morning guys good morning my beautiful lollipops i don't know why my voice sounds like this but um i just wanted to show you guys this polar neck is it even a polar neck i don't know this half polar neck that i bought at Ackermans yesterday like guys this material is so amazing so i like on my way to check because there was an Ackermans there yesterday and i just went inside i absolutely hi bo can you see the black and white bra that i'm wearing <laughs> no i don't think you can i'll have to check on this video i have to check the video if you can see the bra inside but anyway i just wanted to show you the polo neck it is so beautiful it was um it was 180 was 180 and absolutely love it so you know in durban it's not so hot so like uh those normal polo necks that you fold over i find that they're a bit too hot <clears throat> so i thought this was perfect because it's warm but it's not too bulky here by the neck and i love this color i don't have um like something long sleeve and warm in this color so I, and i have like a lot of black uh, long sleeve stuff so i just thought i should grab this and i absolutely love it um i think i'll show you guys some of the stuff that i got from the what should i just show you now like the stuff i got yesterday while shopping i think the main important thing honestly was just oh i left the pots in the car they're in the boot so i'll have to show you after work um the other thing was this thing you guys i chose the most expensive hobby in my life so for context i gym every day and i'm building muscle so i need to eat a lot of protein and honestly i feel like not that no amount of food i eat will give me enough protein but you just have to eat so much of it to get like the minimum amount of protein that you need so i was advised to get this protein shake and um yatura 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 okay like 
why 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 um but anyway uh yeah i just got it in a vanilla flavor <coughs> yeah that honestly this is just me complaining that i chose an expensive hobby and it's costing me all my coins um and then i just bought this um bottle thing to mix in here because this is the second time i buy it and the first time i found that i would have to like put it in a cup and then mix uh which yeah so i think with this it'll be better I just put the powder in here water and then easy to mix and then i'm good to go i i also got these uh high protein drinks yeah these uh i like the banana flavored so i got the banana flavor i i don't like anything chocolate flavored i don't drink chocolate flavored things so and when i went to checkers that was the only flavor that was there that's why i didn't buy it there so i got these that just came um so these help like i'll take these after uh like a heavy training session then i'll just grab some i just bought four but essentially i need to like stock up and keep them in the fridge i'm just on a high protein diet basically and that's what's finishing all my money yeah the rest of the stuff i'll show you guys the pots later um when i come back from work and i slept through my alarm this morning so i didn't go to the gym which means i have to go in the afternoon so i'll pack a bag now go to the gym after work and when i come back we'll do a little unboxing of the pot here let me go to work hey guys i was supposed to unbox my pots with you guys yesterday but when i came back from work i was so sick i was feeling so sick and i didn't manage to do it even today i'm not like 100 percent, but i need to finish this vlog so i'm just like you know what let me unbox this with you guys but as you saw in the previous clips i got these pots i got them from checkers um they are cast aluminium and i really wanted non-stick pots like specifically non-stick so that's why i had took my time with waiting to get um non-stick pots from from checkers i know they've got like really nice aesthetically pleasing ones but they were not non-stick they are um, uh stainless steel they stainless steel so i i was like you know what in as much as i want the aesthetically pleasing ones honestly i want non-stick pots and you know as long as they are functional i'm more than happy so and i know a lot of you guys have like cast iron pots but I find that those are so heavy. So these ones are cast aluminium. I will have you know, okay, and I have no judgment. I have no shame and you can judge me. You can judge me as much as you want to judge me. For my entire adulthood, I've been using hot pots, okay? And I'm so happy that I finally bought pots. Like i've been waiting for this day to come like i finally bought pot and i am now like a fully fleshed adult i feel like a really fully fleshed adult and i'm really proud of myself and now i can stop using my heart and listen my heart pots were working just fine so this is a seven piece set which is um the three lids let me quickly open up the lids okay i'm assuming the handles are there somewhere then i need to screw them on okay so these are the pots oh girl uh the 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 lids not pots those are the lids and uh the lid handles okay but why oh my god does this go inside this goes on top or oh, it goes on top like 
on top of the thing like that am i doing this right no nope. uh now am i doing it right ah yes okay so i think this is how you do it and then you put that there yo sana i'm not going there you go there you go okay and then we just put Okay, I will do this off camera because why is it giving me such a tough time? Okay, there you go. Uh, I'll need a... I'll need like a screwdriver to hold here so that I can tighten it. But I can do that later. Okay, that's how the handle goes. I love this they're so light like i really like that it's light it's not too heavy that's the one this is the frying pan frying pan and uh, yeah so look i'm I live alone so two pots for me and a pan is more than enough i feel like this is really nicely um sized it's a really nice size for one person with the pan and uh, i have pots you guys i have pots if these are my pots ah, so excited Okay, another thing I want to unbox with you guys. <laughs> if you watched my very first uh, vlog when I moved, I don't know if it was my first vlog, when I moved to Turban, and when I moved in, I realized that the stove was a smeg stove, and I said that I need to align it with more smeg uh, appliances. You would know that i've been wanting to buy this but even prior to that i've been wanting a smeg kettle for so long you guys and uh, i saved up for it and i finally bought it a fun fact i bought it in january and we are in june now i've literally not unboxed it until this moment because i had been waiting for a moment where i can unbox it with you guys and as you know i've not been vlogging much so Hence, I have not gotten an opportunity to unbox it. So now, um, because I bought the parts and stuff, I was like, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for me to unbox it. So I'm super excited. Um, super excited. Okay. So this is what you get. You get a manual. You get the manual. Can you guess what color I bought? Ha! <laughs> oh, you probably saw it on the back. You guys, I'm so excited. Okay, this is just like the... I don't know what you call it. Ah! I am so excited. Ooh, baby! What? Why am I posing with the kettle? I'm so happy. Yes, Mazu. Washa. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Okay. Um, this is probably one of my favorite adult purchases. Literally. Literally. So, you know, then from now on, this you just go down um, a cult of wanting to buy everything. So, the next thing will probably be a toaster that I'll want to buy. But 
again i'll have to save up for it and um that's okay well i don't need a toaster right right now so yeah this is how it looks and um i finally have a smack kettle i'm so excited happy i'm very happy about that okay and that is all for this vlog i'm gonna finish putting on the lids for my pots and yeah i'm gonna go and enjoy my new pots and my new smear kettle if you've watched till this far thank you thank you so much for watching please 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 do subscribe if you're not subscribed um yeah i do need like a little motivation a little interaction or engagement from you guys to just engage when you engage it makes me feel better it makes me feel good it makes me feel like i'm doing something right so please do engage and i will see you on the next vlog bye